Well, hello my friends, it's Sean Petit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this peace, calm, wonderful peace. Here are the supplies, some fun new things or new newer. Um, here is the collage pack that I'm going to be using and it's going to be completely free to you in the resource library. So you can grab that and I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. But just some one of my one of my favorite collage packs. I just love it. So here are the colors that I'm using. These are all Deco Art um, acrylic paints, and these colors I, are new to me, and so I grabbed them when I saw them because they just inspired me so much. I'm starting the project on a 12 by 12 MDF board that has been gessoed. And I am using a small brush. I typically don't use a small brush, but what I am trying to achieve is just lots and lots of texture, lots of movement. And with a smaller brush, you get the smaller brush strokes. And once it dries, the, the texture is just phenomenal. And so I'm just taking that color palette and just adding it randomly all over the background. It's just the beginning layers scratching into it um, and not trying to think too hard. I do try to maybe balance out the colors a little bit, but I'm not really thinking too much about it. Just getting color down and that initial layer and look at these colors. Oh, I'm just in love. And the Deco Art uh, uh, paints dry super matte. And so it just really gives it this real kind of grungy, almost chalk-like finish, and it's just uh, phenomenal. These colors are just so peaceful. This alone right here is so pretty. <laughs> um, I just love it. So I'm going to be going back and forth with my colors and just layering, layering, layering um, to build up that background. And so I'm going to do some reverse stenciling here. I'm just laying down some color, and then I'm going to pick it up through my stencil. And then I want to soften my edges. Um, so I just go back over it with a rag and just kind of soften the edge a little bit um, so that it doesn't feel so um, straight. And I want it to feel like it blends in with the background. And the thing I am doing is trying to make, to use some contrasting color here um, to add that depth in the background. And of course, these are going to get covered up, but all of it peeks through at just the right place. And all of the background layers is always so important to get your inspiration, to get the mojo going. And each layer always leads to the next layer. So I'm just stenciling out. This is the Moroccan tile stencil and I will stencil out and then I'll go back over it and, and soften it down because I really want it to be gr grungy and ethereal. And so I'm just, I'm messily just making a happy mess. And I used paint on my rag and put it through my stencil and then just again, come back and pick it up and soften it all the way through. Again, do a little bit of reverse stenciling here, and you'll notice I'm doing contrasting colors. So I put that dark color down, and then I come back over it with another stencil pattern in an, a contrasting color, a light and a dark, and a light and a dark. And all of these layers are adding texture, because every time I smush my paint through that stencil, um, it gives this little area of um, raised a raised area and it just adds so much texture and interest to the background it's just wonderful that was the stacked stone stencil and this is the doodle lines stencil Oh, I love it. Love that color. I love this soft, soothing. This whole palette is very soothing. I love it.
And now I'm just going back over it and adding some of the a pop of color because it's very, very neutral right now. And I did want it neutral, um, but just adding a bit of um, drama and depth with the color. This is a European line stencil, and now I'm just adding, again, that contrast, bringing that back in, pushing things back, and start getting ready for some of the fi final um, steps. Adding a few lines and marks. So now I want to start pushing everything back, and I wanted to try this technique with the plastic wrap because I wanted a real grungy, real unpredictable um, background that um, maybe uh, brayering or press paper wouldn't work so um, on so I tried this and I loved it loved it and as I the the lines and the different things oh man it's just fantastic pushing my finger into the plastic and getting these kind of scratchy lines I loved it And then again, I'll come back over and kind of soften everything. And I know that you're thinking all those layers were covering up, but they show through. They add to the interest. Look at that. Love it. So I wanted some like specific lines, um, straight and kind of um, running down or sideways and so I just use some gesso love it love it And again, soften it, not too much. I don't want to take away, but just soften some of the harder edges. Perfect grungy goodness. So now I've got the background done and I've stenciled onto a piece of tissue paper. Um, this is the Silhouette Flower stencil. And I've got my pieces cut out and ready to go. I've stenciled with um, archival ink and potting soil and then I'm just going around the edges a little bit with black to kind of darken up, to kind of give it a little shadow and um, a little bit of drama. 
So now I'm just going to put all of my papers down. I've got them all laid out. I have an idea of how they're going to go. And I'm using, I'm actually using Nova Colors um, matte gel and I love it. Super strong. I love it. I'm, I'm checking out all of Nova Colors um, products. So I will give a full report once I get through and all of that. Just putting all of my pieces down. And I had some extra tissue paper and I decided that I liked that because the piece was so kind of soft and muted, I kept the entire tissue paper and added a few extra pieces of tissue paper for kind of that cloudy and textural feel and it was wonderful. So I'm going back in with the Moroccan tile in just specific spots um, with some gesso to kind of bring everything together to make the papers feel like they are part and of the piece and connected instead of just sitting on top. So all of the supplies will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description box as well as the link to the resource library to get this um, collage pack or to sign up to be able to get into the resource library. That'll all be on the blog. I love using just bits and pieces of the stencil. It's just super simple, but so, so beautiful. Now I'm going to come back in and just add some um, fun elements, some color. And again, I'm integrating those papers into the piece. Putting my quote down, printed that on tissue paper. And I'm going, I've got some uh, acrylic ink here in sepia and a toothpick. And I wanted to try this technique for a while too. I wanted really, really thin lines. <clears throat> and I wanted it to look a little bit like a pen and nib and it worked perfectly. The line is so delicate. Um, so this is a great way to be able to use your acrylic inks like uh, like you're writing. And so I wrote with it and oh my goodness, it was perfect. It left, <clears throat> it left that great kind of um, inky feel in the writing. And it was really great for like these fun, delicate marks. Um, how it dried was so beautiful with the ink. I just loved it. I wanted this, that the lines were so fine that I needed to get a brush and do a few thicker lines. Um, this is a very fine, fine liner brush. And so I'm adding just a little bit of water to water that down and I'm going to add just some pooling and some areas of inky goodness.
I'm going to add my ink around the edge, just to kind of give it that kind of mm, yum, warm, grungy goodness. And then I'm going to shade around the edge with my black soft pastel. I'll use my charcoal pencil in just a few tiny spots um, to add some additional shading. And that's it. Um, not very many supplies for this, just a lot of lovely layers. And it was so therapeutic to just get lost in the layers and, and just really enjoy the process and think about the quote that inspired this piece. I hope you stick around for the conversation at, at the end. It is a good one, especially for right now, about how our small acts make a difference in our in lives and in the world. So I hope you stick around for that. And again, um, all the supplies are listed down below. Um, um, a link to the blog is down below. And that's it, my friends. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's project. Subscribe and like and all those wonderful things. And I will see you next week. Well, hello, loves, and happy Sunday to you. Look at this beauty. This piece was so... Um, therapeutic and so relaxing and you know you saw all the layers and it just I just kind of escaped into this piece and just played 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 all the new colors oh my goodness um, these I picked these up I ha just happened to be out actually and saw these colors that I hadn't seen before from DecoArt and I used to um, work for DecoArt so I have a lot and I didn't have these and I was like hmm and I don't use like the DecoArt craft paints very often and I'm not sure why um, because they have such a great matte finish and it's really a great paint it really is good coverage and all that um, so if you're just starting out and you need paints and colors these are perfectly fine for any of your projects um, but this color palette oh to die for all the colors and everything will be listed on the blog supplies on the blog um, yeah so I played with those and I just layered and layered and layered oh man it was just so good for the soul and then playing with the acrylic ink and my toothpick uh, the ideas and I mean the fine line the fine detail that you would be able to do with that and still get that kind of ink inky um, feel it kind of like a pen and nib kind of um, look oh man so great um, so I just played I played with my um, cling wrap the plastic wrap because I wanted that just kind of odd pattern in the background that really kind of unpredictableness of that and oh man I just loved it loved the whole thing from start to finish I had an entirely different um, project planned and so um, as I was searching for the papers for the other project I came across this collage pack and um, it just spoke to me so it led me to this so stencils that I used will be on sale this week this collage pack is going, the whole thing is a gift to you. It is free in the resource library. So if you're a subscriber, you already know, you can jump over there and download. If you're not a subscriber, and if you're not a subscriber to my email newsletter, that's the subscriber I'm talking about, um, you can subscribe and get this for free and all kinds of other goodies in the resource library. Uh, that link to subscribe will also be on the blog, so you can head over there if you are interested at all. Um, 
Let's see. Also this week, um, I did a studio tour and because I get a lot of questions about how I set up my space. And so I show you the out the shop, I show you the outer area, and then I show you my workspace and how I have all of my supplies somewhat organized. <laughs> um, I decided to do the video even when my studio wasn't clean, just because I'll never it'll never be clean. So you can hop over and watch that video on YouTube um, if you are interested. And I think that's I think that is it for this week. Um, so this piece, so like I said, I was searching for my papers for another project and came across this. And this is one of my favorite collage packs, all the elements and things like that. And um, this, I read this quote as I was looking for papers and it just spoke to me so much. Especially right now in our world environment. Um, and so let me read you this quote. It says, Victories of every day. There are great victories and struggles and noble acts of heroism done every day in nooks and corners and in little households and in men's hearts and women's hearts and any one of which might reconcile the sternest of man to such a world and fill him with belief and hope. That's by Charles Dickens. Oh man, do we ever need belief and hope right now. <laughs> um, but what this reminded me of is that our small acts, um, I'm truly convinced that change really doesn't happen in the grand gestures, that it happens in our hearts. And then when our cha when change happens in our hearts, we it, it comes out because it can't help but come out in, in whatever way. Um, our small acts change people, change people's lives. And the ripple effect of that, we will never know. But it changes one person and then another and then another and another. And that's how things change. That's how lives change. When we do the small little things, whatever it is, it could be um, just the mere fact of creating and sharing your creation with someone. Um, the act of helping or reaching out or providing a meal or the act of inclusion or um, the kind word the small, small things that happen in our hearts within our homes, because that's where it starts, our homes, how we speak to our, our family, how we encourage them, how we teach them. Um, all of those small, small things in the nooks and the corners and little households um, will at some point hopefully restore belief and hope in this world. And, oh man, what an amazing lesson for us, for me right now. Because sometimes I know that I think, and you probably think that, what can I do? What can I do in the grand scheme of things? Or how can I make a difference? Or how can I make a change? And by doing your acts of kindness, by doing your service, and sharing it with others is how that happens. That's how you make a difference. That's how you effect change. And so, loves, never ever think that what you do doesn't matter because it does. Your story matters. Your life matters, and what you do in your heart and in those small acts in your family and outside, they matter so much. They make such a difference. And um, I just want to encourage you to keep doing that. Keep sharing your creativity, your wisdom, your um, instruction, your kindness, your mercy, your grace, um, your talents, your cooking. Um, Keep sharing those with others, um, and the ripple effect will be 
forever, forever, and they so, so matter. You are so, so important. All right, my loves, um, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I hope it's restful and peaceful and that you realize all that you do to add value to this world, to restore hope and belief. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.